Welcome to Upfront on the Voice of America. My name is Jackson Bunganyi. Families are continuing to mourn their loved ones killed in the crash of Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Investigations are still ongoing into what caused that crash that killed 157 people on board. The U.S. and other countries have grounded their Boeing 737 MAX fleet after the disaster, one that experts say mirrors the Lion Air disaster in October of last year. This weekend, thousands of mourners in Ethiopia accompanied empty caskets during a funeral ceremony for the plane crash victims. The flight, which was bound for Nairobi, had 32 Kenyans on board, among other nationalities. Rayal Ombu brings us the story of a 34-year-old Abdullahi Ibrahim. His family, like the families of other 156 people were killed, are still coming to terms with the death of their loved ones. Mourners gather at the home of Abdullahi Ibrahim, lost in the doomed Nairobi-bound flight. His sister Aisha says they spoke just hours before he boarded the flight and she was excited about their planned reunion. The last time I saw my brother was a year ago when he came back from vacation. I spoke to him the night before he boarded the flight. He said that I should not tell the extended family that he was coming. He wanted it to be a surprise. Four days later, mourners continued to throng Abdullahi's home in Nairobi's Kibera neighborhood. Abdullahi's relatives are now hoping that they can at least bury their loved one. The deceased passenger's father and wife are in Ethiopia. The way I talked to my brother, I told him that even if a peace, if a peace can be identified, it is good for him to come with it so that we can bury. Mm. Mm. That hopefully, when it reaches seven days, you are going to do some prayers. Sunday's crash was the deadliest aircraft accident in Ethiopian Airlines history. The plane, a Boeing 737 MAX 8, crashed just six minutes after takeoff near the Ethiopian town of Bishoftu, killing all 157 on board. Five months earlier, another Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed into the Java Sea off Indonesia, killing 189. Ethiopian Airlines, along with most other nations, has since grounded its Boeing 737 MAX 8 fleet. We have grounded all Boeing B737-8 MAX fleet, which Ethiopian Airlines was operating and which was involved in yesterday's accident as a precaution safety measure. But this does not mean that the incident was related with defects on this specific fleet. But we have taken this as an extra safety precaution. Meanwhile, the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder from the ill-fated plane have been sent to Paris for detailed analysis. On Tuesday evening, Ethiopian Airlines flew 64 relatives of victims to the crash site. Abdullahi's wife and father were among them. Their hopes of finding a piece of Abdullahi's body for burial is slim. On Wednesday, Ethiopian Airlines said no bodies were recovered from the crash site. It appears the force of the crash pulverized all the bodies into nothing. As Abdullahi's family continues to mourn, they hope they will find the closure they need, with or without his remains. Rael Ombor, for VOA News, Nairobi.